Look over here. And I think this time they actually can hear the words that are coming out of my mouth. Yay. Woo. Anyway. Welcome to the cup, the currently unnamed podcast where we put the real and the tea in reality. And you can always come to us first to quench your thirst and welcome to look over here. Our second, usually second podcast of every week where we dive exclusively into the looks of rupaul's drag race all-star season nine Ooh, very exciting i'm logan murphy say something gay gay uh something is different <laughs> got my hair cut oh my god no <laughs> um no i have a new mic and did we just spend about 30 minutes trying to figure out my mic settings maybe <laughs> i hate Are it are they perfect no. Are they perfect? Not even close. But if you can hear the words coming out of my mouth, that's all I care about. So I am drinking water because hydration is of the essence of Hall. And uh, yeah, that's all. That's all I got today. Well, I'm David Healy, and I don't have a cute intro, but I do have a cute shirt. So since we're doing look over here and we're talking about entrance looks, I decided to wear a queen who had a lot of good looks. And one of my favorite entrance looks in a long time. And probably definitely my favorite I, I entrance. A lot of people. <laughs> well, my favorite entrance look of this year. It is Chloe Clark. <gasps> Drag Race LG. Yes, yeah. we love Chloe. Um, but I am just drinking some water. I almost forgot about it. <laughs> we could tell. <laughs> hello, hello. And up y'all i am lana your resident evil diva and i'm here to give the tea spill the tea drink the tea because you know i love me some tea and if you have some tea you know what to do hit me up i'm not drinking anything because i just finished my strawberry my orange sun kiss because i was thirsty so it's gone but you know that how it be but i uh, um I could be drinking something else. It will be out of my mug. And guess what? I haven't done this in a long time. Pen I'm full of cup mug. Pen I'm full of cup mug. Beer, 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 beer. I was going to say, my mic kind of does that, but at a much slower speed now. Uh, because I have a monster <laughs> um, which I think is very, very cute. But I mean, yeah, but right now it's my cup holder cup. Before my pins <coughs> and my remotes, <coughs> I hope and some other things. <coughs> and I'm choking because <laughs> that's what I do. A lot of chokes. I will let you know that you should get some cup mug, but not limited to cup mug at lanagecreations.etsy.com. That link is down in the description below. And we do now ship internationally again, so there are no excuses. I miss doing the finger wave. Like literally every time you all would talk about it, and I'm like, I don't get to do the no. finger wave during no excuses. <laughs> well, now there are no. There are no more excuses. Yes. <laughs> Period. <sighs> well, happy All-Stars 9 week, everyone. It's yeah. almost here. Um, we're very excited to start diving into All-Stars 9. Um, in the interim, though, we figured it would be a good idea for us to start off our look over series for all stars nine by diving into the entrance looks because we've got two episodes coming out for this premiere this weekend per paramount plus usual normal things now so this is just going to be the entrance looks for our eight all stars we're going to talk about them very briefly lana will be introduced <laughs> to the all stars um, I'm very excited about this cast, though. I'm excited uh, to talk a little bit more because neither of you were on the uh, cast assessment that we did e either, which go make sure to go check that out because we talk all about all of our fabulous, fabulous all-stars. Um, 
but we're going to dive into entrance looks. Before we do, though, make sure to subscribe if you have not already, because we are here almost all the time giving you almost all things drag, except currently at this active moment, it is just all stars. Thank goodness. Uh, <laughs> because we're gearing not up for long. <laughs> long. We've got France starting in two weeks. So, and probably another franchise is going to get announced at any point here in the future. So, you know, it happens. It is what it is. But we're happy that currently it is only All Stars 9 content that we will be giving you. Um, make sure to go subscribe to all three of our other channels as well, um, as well as our audio podcast links and our membership links. All of those are down in the description below. So, let us dive in. Uh, as I said, in the cast assessment, we already did the uh, promo look. And this is going to be entrance looks. Ooh, entrance looks. Ooh, Ooh. I love that. Thank you. I was like, staircase feels fitting for the occasion. Absolutely. Uh, there wasn't anything else better, if I'm being honest. But <laughs> <laughs> let's dive in first into the workroom. Got Mick from season 13. Okay. I have heard of her. Great. That's a good start. Yes. I think this is a um, cute entrance look. Um, it's simple. It's not nothing too fla fla flashy or you know you know huge or whatever, which I think is fine for an entrance look. I don't need it to be huge. I don't need it to be grandiose or anything. But I love the makeup because I th that is one thing I do know about Got Mick is that they always do the, the the paint and makeup is very much always blended well. I appreciate that. And I love this checker wig. Like, what? Is that a wig? It is it is indeed a wig. Um that was gonna be my number one thing is the hairline on this wig is incredible it's so the way that it's this like checkerboard pattern like it that is <clears throat> from the limited knowledge of wig making that i know that is a very difficult thing to get correct so yeah. whoever makes a wig for her period yeah that's kind of awesome i really enjoy the wig a lot like that's that's the first thing i noticed was it, when it popped up I was like oh that wig is everything so i like it yeah, um, I do think the main event is everything going on with her head, um, which, hey, no complaints. She she gives good say, head. I don't think she's gotten any complaints. <laughs> um, yeah, and I, I wish we had a profile view of of the um, wig. Yeah. I didn't realize it was a wig because it kind of it looks so structured that I just thought it was like a really interesting headpiece. Uh, but it looks really cool from the side. Uh, so I, I wish we had that here. But. Uh, everybody will see it in the episode soon enough. Um, and I, I do think the look is a good, simple entrance look. It's nothing too flashy. Uh, I, they all they all showed us how flashy they can get with those promo looks, uh, which were incredible. Uh, but I do think uh, the theme here is that a lot of them went for kind of simple entrance looks. And that's fine. Set the bar low. Set the bar low. Entrance look need to be grandiose, though. Um, let's ask Miss. Chloe Clark. Sure. She but says yes. I, well, okay. Uh, she probably would if she was here. She would. <laughs> but yeah, it's still good. Well, I was going to say, I think overall, I've seen a lot of people online talking about how they were a little underwhelmed with um, the entrance looks on a whole. I know a couple of the girls had issues with theirs, so, and we'll talk about that later. Um, I think this is a very solid entrance for Got Mac. I am someone that personally, I didn't care for her entrance on season 13. I didn't love her entrance look personally. Um, so this for me is an upgrade as far as Got Mac is concerned. You can really feel the Violet Tchotchke influence <laughs> on Got Mac. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the number one thing that I noted was, oh, the fashion is fashioning. It, it it feels like, and knowing that the girls got paid to do this season and that they got a stipend for their looks, I can, I'm so excited to see what Mick has brought to Drag Race because I know a lot, uh, due to herself and also due to having Violet as a best friend, 
I'm very interested to see how high fashion she gets for this season. Um, I love the hips. The hips are actually my favorite part of this coat. The way that it t- the the coat kind of nips in at the waist and then comes out in this very square hip. I'm really really enjoying that. Um, I would have liked a little bit of white accenting in the coat just to reflect what's happening in the wig. I know that the outfit is is not supposed to be super uh super flashy because the wig is the the um the star of the look um but i do wish there was a little bit of white incorporated into the actual garment so that way it was a little a little bit more of a tie-in but overall i'm not too mad at mick um in this entrance look at all so do you remember when the rumor last summer was that they were all given $250,000 for looks? I do remember that. And then it, uh, we just had to take off a zero. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> they were given 25000 for, uh Yeah, and I, I do love that this season is for charity and that each of these girls total got $75,000 each. Okay. Because there's a lot of girls that, because they got a $50,000 allegedly. Allegedly. They got a fifty thousand uh, dollar stipend to compete, and then a twenty five thousand dollar stipend for specifically runway looks. So, um, we'll talk about that more when we talk about the premiere. Um, but I really, I, I love what I'm learning of this format for the season. I'm loving. So, and no one goes home. Mm-hmm. I still hope the winner gets a little something for themselves. You know, like a little extra. Well. We'll Scars. I would score this. I didn't realize we were doing scores, so I didn't think about that. <laughs> yes, of course it's, it it's is. been a minute. It's after been a minute. All, after all, Lana, it is. Look over here. Yeah, it's it's been a minute. I forgot. Uh, it's been a minute. Um. I will give this a 84. Okay. Um, I will give it a 76. Um, I'm going to give it an 85. Okay. Not to one-up Lana, but I do really like it. <laughs> Absolutely. Next up, you can't read the doll. It's Roxy Andrews. And she is here to make it clear. Um, I also want to point out this outfit is 100% Balenciaga. So that's fun. That's lovely. Doesn't mean it looks great. I will say, who says designer can't be ugly? Because this is not cute. Oh, wow. I don't know if it's on her I don't like it. Or if it's the outfit I don't like it. Because it's just... Um, it's, it, it's Balenciaga and it looks very cheap to me and I don't know why that is maybe it's the way like I don't like this wig I don't like the wig at all I don't I don't know it looks very much like uh, somebody who's trying to act like they got a bunch of money and so they were like oh I got a Balenciaga outfit that I bought but it's like the swap meet version of the Balenciaga outfit that you bought. <laughs> and you got the fake Balenciaga bag and the fake, you know, Balenciaga shoes. And you, you're trying to stunt like, you you know, you didn't spend all this money and you didn't did everything. And you're like, girl, look at me. I got my Balenciaga bag. Mm-hmm. It's just, it just seems very not it. It's not it for me. Well, she is from Florida, so honestly, that comparison does kind of track a little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I kind of see what Lana is saying. I, I don't think I would go as extreme as Lana here because I do think it looks like a good look, but not a good drag look. Like if I saw this out at a club or a bar, I'd be like, okay, they look pretty hot. But just for what I expect on the show, it just doesn't really fulfill a, a, the the mission here. Um, so she, she does look all right to me. Um, I just wish, I wish, uh, I know she's a pageant girl. Like that's her whole thing. 
I wish there was some evolution with the makeup and like making it a little bit more mainstream, at least for drag race. Uh, but this like, she looks like she's painting for a club. I want to see you paint for television, Roxy. And the wig is not my favorite overall. I think she looks okay. I mean, I, I, I can appreciate this is Roxy's third time. And every time she's walked into the workroom, it's been a mediocre black dress with a bag. <laughs> like that's kind of Roxy's thing for her entrances. Um, I don't particularly love this either. I gotta be honest for me. I actually, I don't mind the dress itself. It comes down to the styling for me. Um, I like the bag. I think the bag is a good uh, addition and it's, it's her thing walking into drag race. So I get it and I like it. I also don't like the wig and I really don't like the boots with this. Or if it's a boot heel, I can't tell exactly what it is. Um, because it makes her look shorter than she is. And she is not a short woman at all. Um, I just think having having the the heel sock, whatever si Balenciaga situation it is, having that come all the way up to the knee, it just shortens her a little bit. And I wish it was either an ankle or it was just a stiletto. I actually think I would have liked this so much better with just a stiletto because it would have made her look long, especially because she's wearing a dress that's so short. But I love the sleeves on this. I do like the cutouts above the hip. I think that's cute. The belt detailing is cute. Um, for me, it, ju it just comes down to the accessorization of the actual garment that I'm not in love with from Roxy. But also the fact that they literally pulled the instrumental from Reju Wrote You and made that her entrance music. They hired some new editors for Drag Race, and I can already tell in the little bit of the entrances that we've seen because it feels different and it feels fresh and i appreciate them for it so but overall roxy doesn't look bad it's not my favorite roxy entrance it's not my least favorite roxy entrance oh it's good 40. <laughs> mm -hmm. i'm gonna give her a 64. i'm gonna give her a 77. Lana, you don't like it? I would have no. never guessed. No. It's hard to tell. Ever. Yes. It's hard to tell sometimes. It really is. You're you're always very wishy-washy about your comments. Absolutely. Like, <laughs> I, don't know. I never know what you're on. It's very indecisive. Yeah. I don't know no which indecisive. side I want to go. <laughs> Me sitting over here calling Lana indecisive. That's funny. Oh. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Next up. Miss Vanjie. 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 I guess this is her thing, right? Y'all go tell me this is this is her give this is her gimmick. This is her shtick. Unfortunately. This is awful. I mm. don't like this either. I don't like this more than I don't like the other thing that just passed. So ew. It's just too much, but I, I'm sure her personality is um is so fun and so quirky and so, like I'm sure you're gonna think, Lana, you'll love her, you'll love Banji. And from the little bit I saw of her, I was like, I will probably love her for a minute, and then she'll get on my nerves towards the end with that Banji, Banji, and everybody does it, and everybody loves it, and I think it's fine. She'll be fine. She'll be great. Um, I just this look. This is look over here, and I want to look over there. I don't know that no <laughs> I'm look this for for saying yeah, uh, for spilling. <laughs> I was prepared. Um, I will say, like Logan was agreeing with you that yeah, this is Vanjie. I think this is Vanjie at her absolute worst. Um, like I'm, I think I'd like this less than her design look. In season ten, that sent her. Yeah, me too. Uh, oh. Please do not judge her solely on this. It is like, it's got like kind of that like I don't know that banshee part that yeah. maybe that's the only thing that's her here, uh, and kind of like the bodysuit underneath too, um, which I thought she was doing that deliberately as like a callback to Michelle reading her for that. Okay. Um, oh, but I think this is just. 
it literally looks like she just blindly picked items out of the closet and put them on like no styling at all just she let me grab that whatever. closet in that case yeah <laughs> um no i do not like this at all like this is one of the worst things i've seen on my tv all year i'm so happy to report that i could not agree with both of you more i hate, <laughs> I hate this so much here's actually you know what here's what i am gonna say chin up i actually don't hate it her hair looks good the hair the hair here is really cute and i really like it i think there could have been ways to make this outfit better there is there are things that i do like about this i do love this coat with this like gold holographic fringe situation that's happening i like the coat i hate the tank top underneath i hate the skirt and i hate the boots but like I understand why Vanjie is on this season. And I, I love Vanjie. She's not my favorite. She gets on my nerves after a while. And that's how I felt on season 11. And that's how I felt on every other show that she's been on since. That I've watched. I just... Girl, really? Really, girl? This, this, this is what you're... Oh, God. She had $25,000. For her runway package. I hope she saved that all for the rest of the show and was like, I'm not going to put no money in this entrance look because I need to save the money for That's the other. I'm praying for that, Lana, because I just. Ugh. Yeah, I am. But her face, she is doing something a little bit more minimal with her makeup. And I, I, I've seen a lot of people criticize it online. I actually really like the more minimal minimalist makeup on Vanjie because I think she has the face shape for it. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't actually mind it all that much. It's not my favorite thing in the world, but I like the wig. So I won't be pleading. I considered it. I do um, too. But I'm not going to plead because of the wig. <laughs> Me either. So. I'm not pleading because of the wig. Guys. I'm giving her a 10 because of the wig. I'm giving her a 12. Because of the wig? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and give Vanjie a 17. Because of the wig? Of the wig. <laughs> yeah, this is awful. You saved every single penny of that $25,000. It's, it's runway package, package gonna be. I've seen I've seen yeah. one of her runways in the trailer, and I like it. So yeah. I'm hopeful. Mm -hmm. I am hopeful. Next up, it's Angie. <coughs> now she was one of the girls that said that what she wanted to do for her entrance look didn't show up in time. Uh, so this is actually something out of her closet. So keep that in mind. Judge it fairly, but know that this is not what she had originally envisioned for her entrance look for this season. I mean, it's not bad. It's not horrible. It could have been... Uh, it could have been completely, like, just just rotten, like, Vanjie's. But it's not bad. It's, it's actually... It actually is pretty decent. And... Um, if for a last minute change and she just had to pull something out of her closet, this works for a good entrance look. Is it's it's drag enough where you'd be like, okay, yes, you, that is a drag queen. I see it, love the vision, but That's it's not over queen. the top. I can promise you that is a drag queen. Absolutely, guaranteed. <laughs> guaranteed. The, way, the way you said that comment just killed me. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know what I said. I just, you can tell she's a drag. She's a drag queen for sure. Yeah, yeah. It's drag enough. You know what I mean? That's what I mean. The, the outfit itself. If if you saw somebody walking up, you're like, yes, yes, queen. I see you. That's you're in your Beyonce cowboy Carter uh, era right now with the chaps and the leotards. I see you. I love it. I feel that. Okay. And very much, very much. And, you know, she's giving me the Beyonce hair. I, I, I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm loving it. I think she looks she looks fine. Her face is, I love the makeup. I like the wig. 
So yeah, I think for somebody who had to change something at the last minute, I think she did she did fine. She did just enough to be all right. Yeah, I, I actually think she's on the higher end of the group. Um I don't I still don't love it. Like I, I don't think I would love anybody's entrance uh look, to be honest. Spoiler. <laughs> Um, but th this uh, definitely has a, a point of view. It has a perspective. She's going for the country girl, but it almost has like a hint of Mad Max in it too. Like you oh. could see like post-apocalyptic country <laughs> person. So I thought that was cute. I really love the wig, especially in the video, like just how it was flowing. And so you, just wait, Lana, wait till you see her, her hair in the actual video. Um, my only kind of gripe is uh, I don't love these chaps. Uh, just because they seem so baggy. Um, and I wish they had just fit like been tighter. I think that would have really pulled the outfit together a little bit better. Um, but other than that, I think she looks very solid. Yeah, I think she was going for the 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 cowboy, hip hop cowboy kind of deal. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like that whole we still kind of the swag with the baggiest, but it's still cowboy. So I think that mm -hmm. it feels like to me, but I could be wrong. And she is from Atlanta, so honestly, oh, like, absolutely, oh, yeah. 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 that's exactly what she's going for. Yeah, you just you said all you had to say when <laughs> you said Atlanta. That's all you had to do is tell me Atlanta. <laughs> well, actually, bitch, she is from Sparta. She's from uh, Sparta, Georgia. That's even yep. That's even better. That's yeah. even better. Um, yeah, that was actually going to be my number one. Not criticism because I actually don't mind the bagginess of it. Um, I just wish there was bagginess in other parts of the garment to reflect off of the bagginess of the chaps. Like if I, I would have loved if there was a bit more volume, maybe not bagginess, but I would have liked if there was a bit more volume in the glove. Like I, I think felt like there was in her shoulder piece here. Like you can't tell as well in this picture, but it, it was a bit like loose too. I thought. Yeah. I can see what you mean. Yeah, in the yeah. arm piece, right? Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I I still really like this from Angie, knowing especially that this was not what she had originally wanted and just pulling this out and throwing it on. I don't think it's all that bad. The wig is what absolutely does it for me. This hair hat wig. <laughs> so good. It's almost Sasha Colby ponytail, but in like in a very Angeria way. I'm I said this in the cast assessment, and I'm gonna say it here. I'm not sorry. I am an Angeria Paris Van Michaels apologist. She is one of my favorite queens to ever be on Drag Race. And the moment she was announced, I was so thrilled. I will be defending her all season. And I'm not sorry. Um, but I will say this is not my absolute favorite thing I've ever seen Angie in at all. Um, the makeup here is great. There is a makeup evolution here from... She was only on two seasons ago. Um, so she is... Her and Georges are the freshest back to All-Stars. Angie is someone that I said when she lost season 14, oh, she'll be right back on and she's going to slay an All-Stars. Georgis, we all know why Georgis is back. Um, but Angie, I think, is someone that I, I, what I'm not worried about on this season. And I'm not worried about even though this entrance is not up to the standard that we know Angie to hold. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to say, since I wasn't on the cast assessment, um, Angeria is somebody who I've always really liked as a person. Her drag style is not my thing. Like I'm not really big into pageant drag. Um, it, it takes a really, really special queen to be a pageant drag queen and really appeal to me. So I always like respected her, but didn't necessarily necessarily enjoy her on her season. So I'm really hoping that she'll fully win me over. What'd you say? Lana? I'm a Russia Fox. Oh yeah, so that's my that's my pageant queen. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely. Scars. For this, for me, I will give this a seventy-five. Okay, I'll give it a seventy-eight. I'm gonna give Angeria an eighty-seven. Four. Four. Next up is Nina West. Giving you something. <laughs> it is something. Her, her her brand is very. I, I think she at least tries to make her brand be like fashion clown camp situation. So 
I mean, it's 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 giving very much that. It's giving very much. And you know what? I don't mind it. I'm not. I'm like I said. Apparently, I've come to realize that I really do like the clown aspect of drag, and I appreciate the queens that say, look, I'm a clown. This is what I do. This is fun. It's it's funny. I want to make people laugh and and just go out and do it. And I love that about them. And I love that um they can take the loud colors and the bright bold colors and put them on any kind of way or whatever. And like she's making it fashion. It is very much fashion and I'm not, not mad at all. So I kind of like it. I'm not even I'm not that mad at it. I love this wig though because I think the wig is gorgeous, but fashion clown? Okay. I'm buying it. I'm buying it. Okay, go ahead, Miss West. Who are you? Yeah. So first I will say she looks very polished, um, especially yeah. in the face. <laughs> Uh, which I'm liking. Um, I I do like I my so my thing with Nina in her season was I thought she was very talented, especially in like acting challenges. Like she's got personality for Drag Race. Uh, her looks weren't always there, so I was I was thinking, okay, well now that she's got a budget, we're going to see the looks. We're going to see her bring it. And I will say, so far, everything I've seen in like preseason press, she's lagging behind most of the other girls like when it comes to fashion and here i don't think she's fully behind the girls but this is not the most aesthetically pleasing thing and i think for me it's partially the color combination uh, it's very like starburst colors which is not always my favorite color combination um but it does give you a good sense of who she is as a queen uh so i do agree with with logan presenting that aspect there um but yeah the wig looks great like i think that's the theme is that everybody is like oh our entrance we're gonna bring the wigs our looks might be afterthoughts <laughs> wait 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 <laughs> oh yeah i i have always struggled with nina's fashion i gotta be honest um and that is ultimately what held her back on her original season um, everything I've seen from her, I, cause unfortunately she did have my least favorite promo look out of everybody. And I agree with you, David. I don't think it's that her fashion is necessarily bad. I just think she is a couple of steps behind the other girls on fashion when it comes to this season. Um, I love this wig. I love this sculpted updo situation. The garment is not garmenting for me. And I think the reason why is because I think she leaned too far into clown that there's too many different patterns and things happening that are not all working together. And that's kind of the issue that I'm seeing with it is like, I don't need the random circle patches with stripes in it with the polka dot, with the ruffle, with the polka dot on the ruffle, with the ruffle on the skirt. Like I don't, I don't need all of that together. And it, like my eye doesn't know where to land. That's kind of my issue with it is like I'm bouncing around and I, there is a level of polish there. And I think this look looks good. I'm curious to see whether it is ultimately and throughout the season. I'm wondering whether it is her aesthetic has evolved or she just had more money for this. Season. And I've seen a couple of her runway looks and I'm very impressed with those from Nina I'm wondering if this is another like Vanji situation or even Angie where you know the they phoned it in a little bit for the entrance look but the actual runway package is going to be you know exceptional so the jury is still out on Nina West for me so scores I'm going to give her 72 I'll give her 62 I'm going to give her a 66 Plastic Tiara from Vietnam. What did you say? Could you say that again? Vietnam. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. 
I don't know what it is about these Asian queens that just have me falling in love with them every time they are on a show. I am obsessed. This is the one person from this cast that I saw the picture and I was obsessed. Like her promo picture, obsessed. This uh, I think she, I mean, is it over the top and big and be like, no, it's simple. It's the bodysuit with the, you know, thing wrapped around and hanging out, you know, training. It is, but it's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. These, uh, these Asian queens are taking over the world. And you know what? I am here for it. I will sit back and enjoy every second of the takeover because, baby, they're stunning. Stunning. Take my breath away, Miss Plastic. I was like, I know I didn't get in here. I went to the cast assessment and I didn't get in on a draft, but I was like, I'm not going to do it to myself because if I didn't get her, I would like lose my mind. So I was like, nope, I would rather not. I don't want to do it because if I didn't get her, I was going to be very mad with who did. So I didn't want to do that to myself this season. And I didn't want to do it. But oh, I'm obsessed with her. I'm obsessed with her. I don't know what she's going to do on this in the season. And honestly, I don't care. I'm obsessed with her. So, yeah, looks gorgeous. Mm hmm yeah, uh, it's funny because uh, we just talked about Nina West. For me, Plastique's kind of the opposite of Nina West. I was going to say the exact same thing, David. Yeah. So she's somebody that you can always count on to look pretty, to bring great looks. She's also very likable. In challenges, she struggles. Like, she she hasn't, like, in her first season, she never, like, fully found her characterization, especially in acting challenges. Uh, so that's the reason, like, if you all did catch the, the draft, I did pick Nina, not because Nina is my favorite. It's because I think she'll do well in challenges and I'll get points. And wow. Plastique was pretty low on my list. And it's not because I don't think she can win. It's just that I don't know that she's going to get a ton of challenge wins throughout the season. I don't remember where she, I think she was fourth or fifth in the draft. Okay. That makes sense. But I do love Plastique. Like, she's one of my absolute favorites in this cast. Um, she's really made a name for herself. I think I've heard that she has the most followers on any single social media platform of any drag queen. Period. She, she is the single most followed drag queen, I believe, on social media. Period. On TikTok, I believe it's also overall. Okay, but it is. She's eleven million followers on TikTok. Okay, well, her TikTok. Man, girl. I would, I would encourage go to go check out her TikTok. Uh, the way she she is the queen of transitions like that is her thing and her tiktok I, I i will go ahead and say i am not the world's biggest plastic tiara fan and that's just me personally i'm excited to get to have a reintroduction to plastic on this season um but there is no denying that her social media is is the best one of i will say one of the best and she absolutely deserves all of the attention and the fame that she's gotten and the platform that she has built for herself since her season of drag race is perhaps one of one of the biggest. I'm not going to say the biggest because I think the biggest is Trixie. But she has one of the biggest she's built one of the biggest platforms from her time on drag race. And she got eighth. She got eighth on drag race and has built a platform that will carry she didn't need to ever come back on drag race. I'm thrilled she's here. But she did not ever have to come back on Drag Race. I didn't think she would. <laughs> I never thought she would either. I Long. follow her. Yep, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised by that in the slightest. And I'm like, why have I... I uh, if, I, if I haven't followed her, I've seen her TikToks. Like, yep. And like like you said, the transitions are amazing. From out of drag to drag. Yep. Yes. I wish she could do that on the show right. now but i know it's impossible well, like, it's, you know david right I, it's just oh my god oh my god i just thought i just realized i'm like mm -hmm. dude when you said tiktok in the transitions oh my god yep, yep. Yep, yep. obsessed as far as this look goes um 
I think I was expecting her to knock it out of the park above anybody in this cast. And for me, she did very well, but my, my mind is not blown. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. And I was a little underwhelmed with this. Uh, not that she doesn't look good, especially that face. Her face never goes wrong. Like She's so pretty. This card um, never declines, baby. Never. But the look itself, it's simple and pretty. And that's all I have to say. <laughs> Um, as far as the look is concerned here, I will agree, David. I was expecting something a little bit bigger from her or a little bit more grandiose. I don't think this is bad by any means. This gives me Miss Universe. And that is the reference she was trying to make with her entrance line. So if that's the energy and the vibe that she was going for in that, then this fits perfectly. Um, I, I love the corseting here. I just think the skirt is a little strange and where the slit is placed is a little strange. But overall, like, I'm not mad at this. It's not my favorite. It's definitely not my least favorite. Pro or, uh, entrance. Of course. 84. Let's do 79. I'm also going to give it a 79. Lovely. Hello, Des. It's gorgeous like George. <laughs> AKA RuPaul's favorite. <laughs> I mean, look, we already said we're not blown away by these entrance looks. And this entrance look is very much out of rainbow the department store rainbow or um H and M Forever Twenty One, you know, very well, much. I, I was gonna say the uh the back part of Spencer's. Back part of Spencer's, uh Fredericks in Hollywood, Absolutely. you know. Yeah, it's Santa very Alley. much you know, if she got this in Santi Alley, that honestly wouldn't surprise me. I mean, very much giving me pretty woman before the transformation. So but make it Latina. Uh, but it's cute. It's fine. It's whatever. I think that's her vibe. That's what she's going for. Whatever. Girl. So whatever. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a rock with it. I hate the shoes with the whole foot out at the bottom. No, that bothers me so much. That just drives me insane. I don't like those shoes, but that's just a personal preference for me. But this outfit is a whatever. But I like her wig. I think we will wait. Everybody's wigs are gonna be on point, but the outfit is whatever. So there we go. Okay, then Lana, you're gonna think this statement is very sad. I think of all eight, she is the one that surpassed my expectations with her entrance look. Oh, that's sad, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I agree. <laughs> that's sad, oh my god. So that um, was, girl. I'm sorry. Yeah. It was not known as a fashion queen on her original season she was known for having good lip syncs okay. and and that she does and that yeah. she does beautifully yep but you seen you seen it once uh <laughs> punch in the gut punch in the gut, <laughs> <laughs> like, punch seri in the gut. seriously it's like okay you did your one thing good and you're doing it a bunch of times this season but yeah, I'm yeah. not a big George's fan. If you can't tell, <laughs> what? Yeah, don't say. I could never tell with you. The thing is, she is still so young. Mm. I think she's like she's like my age. Like she, are she actually, I think she's much younger. I'm gonna, David. I'm <laughs> not gonna hug you. I'm gonna. No, you're fine. I'll let you look that up. Um, I actually don't hate this as much. Well, I don't think Lana doesn't hate it, but I, I actually thought it, I was like, Oh, it looks kind of cute on her. Um, I, I think it's an interesting pattern here. Um, it's not just straight up like a mini dress. Like it, it has some interesting cutouts going on. Um, I don't think I noticed this until now, but that scene is that a nude illusion under her. No, I think it's actually just her body. Yeah, I think oh. it's just her. Oh, really? Those are her ribs? Yeah. Girl. Okay. She is a skinny bitch. She is, but girl. Okay. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I think it's all right. It's cute. It's cute. And I do I do agree. I like the wig. 
I find it funny that I thought she was my age. Not even close. Yeah, I was about to say, wasn't she like... She's 23. 24? Okay. She's 23. Yeah. I'm two years younger than Angeria, which is kind of wild to me. Anyway. um, Yeah, I have to agree. I think this surpassed what I expected from Georges. I mean, Georges was the first in the line of you were born to do drag. Um... And that is as far as drag performance is concerned. Um, but honestly, I don't hate this entrance look. There are a lot of things I would change. Because I think the concept of this whole cutout dress is very gorgeous. And the concept of it is good. I just would have changed some of the cutouts specifically. Like, I would have had a few less cutouts. It, it, it's, it's not my favorite thing in the world. I don't love the peekaboo toe on the boot either, especially with it being a thigh high. Not my favorite thing. But the wig. This hair hat wig is hair hat wigging. And I'm thrilled about that. Um, overall, you know, I'm... She, Georges is another one like Vanjie where I'm intrigued to see... Um, did I say she was the first in the line? You did. I did. She was second in the line mm -hmm. of you were born to do drag. Thank you for correcting me, David. It was um, Crystal Versace. It was it was Crystal Versace, and then it was Georges, and then it was Anitra, and then it was Marina. Marina. Yeah. Um, but I have to agree with you, David. This exceeded my expectations for Georges for an entrance look. I got to be honest. I still don't love it, but it's better. It looks more expensive than I thought it would. So, of course. 55. Oh, uh, 73. 69. Nice. Thank you very much. Uh, and last up. And if the first, the first queen to ever walk into the workroom of RuPaul's Drag Race, and oh lord, Will she remind you that she was the first queen to ever walk into the workroom of RuPaul's Drag Race? Drink every time during uh, preseason press and during this episode that she says she was the first queen to walk into the workroom of RuPaul's Drag Race. That is, of course, Chanel. Beautiful gown. Beautiful gown. Beautiful gown. I love the wig again. The wig is wig is great. Makeup is great. I like the braid. Is that supposed to be like a braid? In the hair. Head? In the hair. It's like oh, coming from her finger down across. It's supposed to be Medusa. Yeah. Okay. 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 Her, her, right. One of her most iconic moments on Drag Race is in a Medusa look. Okay. And so this is her recreating that look, basically. Okay. Okay. It's fine. I, okay, I see it now. I see the snake yeah. outline in the dress. That makes sense. Okay, that's cute. That's actually pretty cute. Um, and that is a nude illusion, David. Yes. It's not a, but it is and a nude illusion. It is a nude illusion, but I kind of feel like it it works with this one because it makes it look like it's a tan snake. Like, it is actually a tan snake instead of a nude illusion to to show off some cutouts, but it's cute. I like the way it's wrapping around her body. I like it. That makes sense. You know what? I like this more than I thought I did when I first saw it. Now that I get what it is, and that is snakeskin dress. It is a snakeskin dress. Okay, I like it. I like it. She looks good. Uh, Lana, yeah. if you thought you were going to be annoyed by Miss Vanjie. I'm probably going to be annoyed by Just wait. Well. No, but when I saw this look, I grabbed my purse and held back. Don't not, you dare, David. Not because I thought it was good, but because I didn't want her stealing my money out of Ooh, my purse. Okay, we don't need to go there. That's <laughs> disrespectful to Chanel, even though apparently it was a true story. Yeah, we saw Ooh. it. There's video evidence. She stole somebody's money, Chad. She sure did. She picked somebody's purse. Took out some a wad of cash joke. as a joke, mm -hmm. and then put it in. No, it put it in her 
her no thing more. and left. She took it as a tip. And the woman later was like, she took like $2,000 out of my purse. Oh, it was and supposed to be as a joke. Did she get the $2,000 back? Uh, well, but she, uh, she was like, it wasn't too, it wasn't that much money. It was, I don't know, like $600 or whatever. It was, it was a whole ordeal. That's crazy. <laughs> crazy, man. Yep. I love to hear that. You also have to recognize, and I don't, I don't co-sign on that whatsoever. You do also re- have to recognize this is the person that has been doing drag for 30 years. So uh-huh. she is still, she operates still in a very old school mindset. Of so still was okay of back in the day? Well, like as a cute bit, but I think the other person has money, to be in on the bit before exactly. it works. Do not take my tip money unless I'm handing it to you. Period. <laughs> right. Please Period. don't go with my purse and take it. Or not, David. <laughs> um, I think it's okay. It's okay. Like I I get the whole snake skin part of it. Like that's a good concept. My problem is that just with the, how dark it is, it just gets kind of muted. And you mm. can't really get a lot of texture or um any sort of detailing in it. And even the bottom just looks kind of like a crumpled up trash bag to me. Um, and I don't really love the nude illusion part. I think it's clever, but is it good? Uh, now I do like the wig. I do like the wig and there has been evolution in her makeup. So I appreciate that. It's still a little pageanty for me, but, um, she looks, she looks all right. Hmm? And that is her aesthetic pageanty. She's an old school drag queen. Yeah. Period. Like that, that at the end of the day, that's just what she does. I know, and I'm just saying, like she's she's had some growth, not as much growth as I would have liked to see, but that's okay. Oh, I disagree wholeheartedly. I think the growth that Chanel has experienced in when was she last on TV? In eleven years since she was on TV, I think the growth is astronomical. She was already one of the best look girls, so she is someone that should already have a crown. Quite honestly, in my opinion, um, with unt. Yeah, she doesn't have the ground to get ground ever. No, I disagree. Um, for me, this was by far, without a question, my favorite entrance look. This is the entrance look for me that feels the most put together and the most representative of who she is as a queen. I didn't really get that. Like, I think the only other, the only, there's two others that I think gave me a similar sort of vibe, and that's Mick and Angie. But I I love this. I do agree that the bottom of the, the dress, in the video of the actual episode, it looks a lot better. But I do agree in this photo, it looks a little crumpled at the bottom. I do like this, though. Um, I think calling back to something that people will remember is a smart way to go. Um, I, I, I would have loved if she had just recreated her season one entrance. Like that would have been really iconic for me because it was um it was full on assless chaff. And I think that would have been a more fun way to go about it. But I do like this. I think it's good. This is yeah. assless too, by the way. It is assless. Which... Lana can't tell that. <laughs> <laughs> what you're gonna learn from Chanel is she likes to show her ass. Every opportunity she gets. Ass. I move. Mean... So. We've seen a lot of that before lately. Yeah. yeah. Scars. I will actually give this an 88. I kind of really do like this. I'll give it a 75. I'm going to give Chanel an 89. Nice. So nice. with that, Chanel, your favorite also, Lana? I think so. I think, yeah. Yeah, by scores wise, definitely she is my favorite for this. I'm trying to remember. Was, David, was yours plus yeah. I think so. It was It was bare. I think she edged out Angeria by one point. Fair. Yeah. That tracks. Well, who knows? We could spend 55 minutes talking about eight looks. <laughs> <laughs> well... Well, yeah, I mean, it, it's... We were also talking about them as 
queens too. Since exactly. I didn't have a chance to yet. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get a chance to do that. So we threw a little sprinkle of something else in there. Oh my God, of course, as you should. Absolutely. You should. So, well, we will be back shortly after the premiere on Friday uh, to talk about the first two episodes of All Stars 9. We will be doing, um, if you didn't catch our coverage of Solo Las Mas for La Mas Draga, we are now splitting our podcast into two separate episodes uh, for all of our drag content moving forward. One of them three. being purely... What? We're three. This episode premiere, we're doing three because we're doing two look over years. This is one. Okay, the thing is, you know what I meant. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't confuse the audience. <laughs> you very much, David Healy. Um... But each week we will be doing two mm -hmm. episodes, except for mm -hmm. this premiere, mm -hmm. uh, where we are diving into one. One will be an episode, uh, purely an episode recap of the episode, and the other one will be look over here, where we dive exclusively into the look. So if all you care about is the fashion from All Stars Nine, you will have content. You'll have a whole video to watch where we talk about that. Um, I don't know whether, I don't know what it's going to look like, whether we're going to do both episode recaps in the same episode and both look over here in the same episode, because we are getting two episodes dropped this week. Um, so there might be four episodes. I don't know. We're trying to figure that out. So uh, stay tuned to this weekend, and, and you will find out too. And the best way to stay tuned for all of our drag content, including but not limited to all our drag coverage, is do subscribe, hit the notification bell, uh, share this video with your friends on the way out, like the video, do all those lovely, gorgeous, and wonderful things. We do greatly appreciate your here at the cup. Um, down below in the description, you will find all of our other YouTube links, our audio podcast links, and our membership channel links. Um, additionally, you will find our social media at the cup pod on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. You can follow the three of us down there as well, and you could get your merch including but not limited to cup mug down there as well. I no longer can cheers with my cup mug because I have to hold this. <laughs> so with that being said, I'm going to do this with my microphone. Cheers. 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 Mm -hmm. Bye. 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 I'm going to have to cheers with my microphone now on. It is what it is. It's we fine. love that for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine.